presenting a novel pulley-based simulator for ureteroscopy with visual haptic feedback. Kidney stones are pieces of dissolved minerals and salts. They can block urine, causing pain, if they pass out of the kidney and get lodged in the urinary tract. Urologists perform ureteroscopy to examine the upper urinary tract for kidney stones. Depending on the size and location of the stone, it can be extracted using a ureteroscope in conjunction with laser fibers to break the stone in a basket to retrieve the fragments. While ureteroscopy is minimally invasive and safe, complications can arise if the operating surgeon applies too much force on the delicate lining of the ureter. In these instances, the high forces can cause the ureter to stretch or completely tear, leading to increased recovery time for the patient. Experienced surgeons are able to minimize damage to the ureter, but novice surgeons who are unfamiliar with the proper range of insertion and extraction forces are more likely to cause damage. Inspired by this, we have developed a pulley-based haptic device and virtual environment to mimic the forces felt during a ureteroscopy to improve surgical training outcomes of novice surgeons unfamiliar with the procedure. Transfer from a virtual task to a real-world task is dependent on the similarities between the two. Urologists manipulate the tip of the ureter scope by pushing and pulling on the sheath, rotating the dial to change the tip orientation, and rotating the handle to change the plane in which the tip bends. Collisions of the sheath inside the ureter are transmitted to the surgeon, where they interpret what is happening by viewing the live stream of the scope on a monitor and feeling the, feeling the transmitted forces. In comparison, the user can move the tip of the ureter scope in the virtual world by pushing and pulling on an elastic band that rotates a simple pulley system, and rotating the dial on the sensorized ureter scope handle to change the orientation in the virtual world. A DC motor attached to one of the pulleys provides force feedback during collision of the virtual tip of the ureter scope and the virtual ureter. As a proof of concept, the force rendering algorithm is approximated as a haptic wall, where the force increases proportionally to the distance of intersection with the tip proxy into the virtual ureter wall for velocities that are greater than zero. Using this force model, we conducted a human user study of complete novices. Each participant completed six trials, three with visual feedback and three with visual and haptic feedback, where each trial consists of one pass going from the start to the end of the ureteral path. Interestingly, trials with haptic feedback took statistically significantly longer than trials with only visual feedback. We found that the magnitude of the model force distribution matched well with the measured forces of ureteroscopy in literature being in the range of 0 to 6 newtons for both conditions. Lastly, we found the device did not always reliably output force equal to the model force in terms of linear correlation. However, this seemed to improve as the subjects learned to manipulate the device more efficiently in subsequent trials. Areas for future work include improving the hardware, comparing the current haptic wall force model with models of higher complexity for soft tissue deformation, and inviting further evaluation as a training device by medical professionals. Thank you so much for your time.